Hey gang, it's Mike from Power BI Tips. We're going to work on a quick demo today. We're going to go through building a stacked bar chart through charts.powerbi.tips. So the first thing we'll do is we'll navigate over to charts.powerbi.tips. Uh, this is the intro screen. This is where you can load up some data. We're going to use the default data set to build this chart. So you can click in the grayed out area to the right hand side. It'll minimize that window. And here's the tool. So we're going to start off by building a stacked bar chart. And to start with this, we're going to grab a square mark and add that to the glyphs area. This will produce to us a bunch of bars across our chart. In the chart tool, each bar represents a single piece of data. So if you have more pieces of data, you'll have more items here. So I'll take a quick pause here to look at some of the data elements. You can actually show the data by clicking on the ellipsis. Clicking on this lets me see the different values that we have inside this data set. So we can see we have a month, city, and value or a numerical value. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, produce a, a stack bar chart. So let's first go by city and we'll add the city down here to the fill, which will be color. So then we'll color these things by each of the cities that it's seen. Then we're going to drag the month label and add it to the chart area under the X axis, which then breaks all these elements into different groupings. So for each month, we have three different measures from three different cities. Finally, we'll take the value section and add it to the height of the bar and it will now produce the bars in their various heights. Next, we wanted to then change how they're stacking. So if we click in the plot area, the very first item here is how the elements are stacking. It's currently stacking across the X. Instead, we'll say let's stack across the Y direction. This then stacks all the bars for each month in the Y direction. We can then adjust the width between the bars. If you see right here, I'm putting my cursor right between the two bars. And as I adjust that smaller, the bars become closer together. So now I have the stacked bar chart, but we don't have an axis on the left hand side. So it's not intuitive how to do this. You actually have to click on the glyph, the shape, and then you have to click on the height. And the height has a little uh, bind data element here. If you click on that, if you add a legend for the height of the bars, it'll then add a height glyph or a height um, legend across the left hand side of the chart. So now we have the heights of all the bars. If we want to continue to enhance this further by adding additional elements, we can grab the text box, drop that onto the glyph area, and then we can drop in the values into the individual text boxes. So now we have each bar. Now we have the numerical value of each bar across all the bars on the chart. To extend this idea a little bit further, maybe for the, uh, the end result here, we'd like to have a number at the top showing the total of each bar. So in order to do this, you can't do this in one chart. We actually have to build a new chart for this. So we're going to adjust the size of this one chart. We're going to click the plus sign for new glyph. And we're going to bring in a new plot segment. So I'm going to drop in a new plot segment here to the right. And we're going to do the same thing. Drop the square mark onto the page. We're going to add a value to the height of this. Now here is where we're going to slightly differ. See how all these glyphs already have the bars broken out by each individual data point. What we want to do is we actually want to collect all the data points together. So let's keep going here a little bit further. I'll add the month to the X axis. We can see each of the groups have been broken out, but this time we want to adjust how the glyphs are adding together. So if I click on the plot segment number two and we say group by, so this allows me to do some sort of math across the entire section. So we're actually going to group it by the month. So now the bars become a total group. We're also going to change how the glyph, the shape glyph, is actually uh, calculating its value. So I'm going to click here in glyph 2, shape 2, and the height is now average of a value. Well, we don't really want the average. We want the max because we want to see all the values that are in a given month for all cities. So if you click down here and click on the height and you change it from average to sum, the bars now become the entire height of all the bars. So great. Now we have two charts. They're not mixed, uh, blended together yet. We now have the proper height of the bars. We now need to add a little uh, text box on top of each of the bars. So I'm going to grab the text box. 
We're going to zoom in here to the top of this. We're going to drop that at the top of our, our bar chart here. I'm going to grab it and drag it just above the bar. We're going to leave it text and I'm going to drop in a value on the text values. And again, this is also using average. So we need to go down here to the text value and instead of using average, change it to SUM and should give you the total sum of the bar. Also, we have too many decimal places on here. It's just a bit too noisy. So if you go here to the latter part of this text symbol, it's using a 0.1 float. So if I want to do 0, 0.0 float, and now it'll take away the remainder of all those bars. So we have just a nice clean number for the top of the bar. Okay, next step here, let's go to a shape two. And we have a fill for it right now. Actually, we don't want a fill. So we're gonna click the style fill and say uh, none. So then the fill goes away. Lastly, we're gonna go here to plot segment number two. We don't really wanna see the months again because we already have them on the other chart. So we can go here to the X axis and we can turn the visibility off. So now we just have the numbers in the chart. Lastly, we're gonna blend the two charts together. So I'm gonna take the first chart, we're gonna extend it over to the corner here and we're gonna take the other chart that we just created and we're gonna extend it to the other corner. And so now we have two charts on top of each other where I have the total values across the top of the chart. I have the stacked bars uh, in the Y direction now and then each label for each bar. Do a little bit of cleanup here, remove the demo, adjust the height of the bars and there's our chart. Now we've completed the chart and now we can export this and then load this into Power BI and then we will be able to use two different columns, one for um, the x-axis, one for the stacking, which would be in the y direction, and then a value for each of the values across those bars. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos about charts and other great tips and tricks from powerbi.tips. Thanks.